welcome back to Engine's Place. I have here another art print and this is actually a frame from Saiju Collectibles. I have, I think this is the last art print, uh, frame art, art print since, uh, since last year. I actually received this I think around end of December just before uh, I think just before New Year or just before uh, the 25th but either way really excited because I love this art print this is actually a spider-man art print so let's get this unboxed Again, going back, <laughs> so this is a, a Spider-Man versus a Sinister Six. And there's an uh, an Alex Ross version. Uh, this one is actually um, Julian Totino to Tedesco. I hope I pronounce your name correctly. Um, and this is more of a landscape, and the one from the one from Alex Ross is like uh, a, a, um, this is a portrait, and the the one from Alex Ross is landscape, um, but that one, the Alex Ross one, is very, very expensive. Like very expensive. Um, I am actually in a hunt for that. Um, that one is pretty good, but this one is is okay. The the price is also quite good as well. So that's why I got this from Sideshow. So let's see. Um, I was very tempted with because because of the frame. Um, the frame matches nicely with the artwork itself so that's why there you go so it actually has a bigger dimension to typical sideshow um, art frames and artwork so this is more elongated uh, portrait I like that one that's why I really got this um, I, love, I love that kind of stuff <laughs> put it there and this is the one um, let me get it out from the plastic um, in the pictures um, I couldn't see clearly how good is the 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 pencil work or the line work or everything um, I'm really excited to see that uh, here and also excited to see I, I love the colors uh it's kind of retro that's why i love it um what i really wanted to see is the line work how good it is so either way let's open it up there you go look at this really amazing beautiful let's see uh, hold on Wow, Woo. this is nice. Wow, this is nice. Wow, beautiful. Look at that. I hope I'll, I'll try to that it wouldn't give any reflection. There you go. Maybe I'll try to adjust the camera so that you can actually see it better. Let's see, and also the lighting. So uh, I hope I minimize the glare uh, or the reflections. But either way, this is the art print. It's pretty awesome. Um, I really love it. I, I love the, the frame also. It has a very nice, uh, I guess, gold trim. Um, very beautiful, very retro. So uh, before I or we go to the close-up, uh, I'm going to uh, adjust a little bit information regarding the space. Is, again, this is Julian Totino Tedesco. Uh, from Saiju Collectibles 450 still available inside your website so do check it out um, having the option for the white frame and the black frame so I got the black one I think the white one is pretty awesome as well uh, because of this gold trim so I thought that the the trim was more of a yellow so I didn't like it with regards to white so I, that was what I am afraid of but 
it seems it's a bit darker because it's more of gold so I think it would look awesome with the white frame as well so again very very amazing piece so let's get to the close-ups so this is the frame itself um, I'll try not to or find an angle that it would not have too much reflection uh, or or glare so let's check first the trim because this is for me the most surprising one uh, it's actually pretty awesome I love it it gives a, a retro feel to the artwork let me try to move out you'll see the entire mess but let, let me try to angle it properly there you go it looks absolutely amazing um, there was a white version I didn't opt for the white version because I was afraid that the yellow trim might be too light and it wouldn't look uh, let's say complementing to the frame itself the white frame but I guess with this color it would look awesome the white frame would definitely look great on this one um, it complements black or white so that's the good thing with gold um, but yeah I didn't regret getting this color or the black one but I guess the I guess the white one would work as well now let's check on the artwork itself so this is spider-man versus sinister six so there's sandman right here there's mysterio dr. octopus um, electro craven and vulture so that is the sinister six and spider-man is entangled all up in here i'm not sure i i i, I think he's got tangled by uh, yeah he's got tangled by dr octopus he's trying to maneuver himself away from this guys um i really love it uh, like like i mentioned i was really excited with regards to the line work if you can see spider-man the the line work here is pretty awesome so it's kind of having this like cartoony fear feel but having a a retro theme something like that and I really love it um, I love the subtle colors um, I guess that's what made it look retro so let's go a bit more detail with the line works or more like so as you can see I think there this is more of a painting which actually works pretty well with with Sandman right here I love those sprinkles of sand right there see this is, looks absolutely good but like I said I was trying to really look at in the photos in the internet how the line work is good or how good it is I guess it is really good look at that it's fine it's very detailed you would see the details from spider-man's um, webbing in his costume look at that pretty awesome and also some expressions from how I would say dr. octopus face so this is the reason why I'm also very curious with regards to line work because it actually adds this tiny details that mostly being um, like not focused um, this actually these details actually gives more of an accent uh, to the artwork itself because normally if you go far you would see how the colors is the, those nice sprinkles those electric or electricity um effects there uh but when you go in closer it's actually the details the line work right there that makes it pop so that's why i really love that and this is also vulture right here amazing stuff so overall i would say this is i think would be my next favorite spider-man versus sinister six artwork right here I love the composition like here so the one from Alex Ross was very interesting there they were also like at the side of the building but this one is going the, the angle is going up the one from Alex Ross is going the angle is going down that, that means the 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 camera is going down uh, but again this one looks pretty awesome I really love the the artwork the composition 
how the villains are how I would say uh, placed I really love that and I also love how spider-man got tangled or got caught by Dr. Octopus right there love the expressions look at those expressions from the different villains let me show you a bit there you go really love that um, like it's pretty amazing I just do wish I guess this is a nitpick that the that the sky is a bit bluer that would have been nice or I'm, I'm not sure maybe I'm just imagining but either way this artwork looks pretty awesome now I have to find a wall because I have so many artworks uh, I need to find a wall where to put this because this is really good I love it so this is the Sideshow Collectibles uh, Spider-Man vs. Sinister Six done by Julian Dutino Tedesco. Amazing art print. I really love it. I, I love the entire look itself and I love the frame. <laughs> the, trim is, the trim is amazing. Um, it really lets your eyes look at the frame and it gives a very good retro feel. So again, uh, I hope you like the video. And also share it to everyone and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to Agents Plays and help me grow my channel to have more of this stuff. Thank you for watching again and stay tuned.